Hey, Star Wars Action Fear Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review, and this time we have a Star Wars comic packs on Ewoks. <laughs> I'm not even it's sure uh, exactly what the name of this the comic book is. It just says Star Wars number 94, Dark Horse Comics. So uh, these were all Ewoks seen in the expanded universe in the comic books, and we have Machuk, Kyo Kich, and catch hopefully i'm pronouncing those somewhat correctly and this is a wonderful packing you get three ewoks ewoks are very popular you know i mean a lot of people out there really love ewoks and i've been trying to get all the more modern ones from chief chief chirp on and yeah, i think i only need about four six or so more so you know i'm getting close to completing uh, my ewok collection so there's some other comic packs found in this wave there is our product shot of Kiol Kich, Machuk, and Ketch. And then there's a little some synopsis there. If you'd like to go ahead and pause and read. And of course, these are pretty much all repaints of the, I think, Rombot and Grack that were released in the 30th anniversary collection. But, you know, with Ewoks, you get paint variations, you get, and sometimes you get the new headgear and hoods and little accessories that really make them stand out and, and I think worth purchasing. Uh, this compact tends to be a little hefty in price sometimes, but, uh, you know, I mean, I think maybe 20 or so would be totally worth getting. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take this out of packaging and get a good look at these Ewoks. Alright, so here we have our first Ewok, and this is Machuk. Um, Probably my least favorite. I mean, they're all great Ewoks, but of the three, this is my least favorite. I do like his head sculpt, though. Probably the best. Um, he's got the pointy ears, and the others have more rounded ears. And he's got some great paint apps around the eyes, and you can see that there's, you know, a lighter brown around the eyes, on the nose, and on the mouth. So that's, I think, the, you know, they did a really good job with that. And on the body itself, um, it's a kind of a darker brown, and you see these lighter, sh uh, lighter uh, paint apps applied to it. That looks really cool. Now it comes with this uh, red cowl that um, when you remove it, his head will usually pop off. So that's why I had him without the cowl at first. And then there he goes. And uh, you know, nice cowl, definitely a nice shade of red. Um, good molding there. It's probably just a repaint of an older uh, Ewoks cowl. You know, not no shading. Shading would have been nice, but being that this is an older figure, I can forgive that. It comes with a spear. You know, good paint apps, especially here at the top. You know, you got the gray paint apps on the blade here. Really gives it a stone-like quality. And then you got the lighter brown on the string around the pole. Very cool. Now articulation is basically the same on all of these guys, so I'm just going to go over it once with Machuk here. He's got the ball joint head with some limited mobility, and that goes for all three of them. Got the ball hinge shoulders, the swivel wrist, swivels at the waist, swivels at the hips, and you got the ball hinged ankles. So, you know, decent articulation, especially for Ewoks this size. You know, recently we've been getting some ball hinged um, elbows, if I'm not mistaken, with newer Ewoks, but, you know, still... Decent articulation. Next, we have Kiel Kooch or Kiel Keech. Kiel Keech. Eh. <laughs> and this is probably the hardest Ewok name to pronounce. So, we'll just call him the Stormtrooper Ewok. <laughs> but, uh, really nice guy, right? Uh, we, we've got this kind of a purple, almost like a light purple uh, cow. It's bigger than Machuk's cow. You know, a little more detail here, a little sculpting there. Very nice. You know, once again, no shading. He's got some rounder ears. Facial, facial sculpt's kind of simple. You know, you only kind of have the eyes there, and that's basically it. No other uh, paint apps applied. And, you know, he's got a kind of fuzzy bear orange to him. No shading on this guy, just kind of a one solid color. And, of course, what really defines him is the fact that he's holding some Stormtrooper. A helmet and he has the stormtrooper belt. Now the belt is removable. It's loose. It's not attached. Not, it's not part of the mold. So I'm not going to remove it. Uh, it comes with the same spear that Machuk comes with 
And then, of course, he comes with this helmet, which he holds pretty snug in his hand. Um, you know, standard Stormtrooper helmet, but a very nice sculpt. Looks good. Looks better than the uh, current Black Series Stormtrooper, that's for sure. You know, it's oversized, of course. So, he's got to remove um, Kial Keech's uh, cowl. And it's a nice fit. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to display him holding it or him wearing it. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. So, you know, makes you wonder, did he eat the Stormtrooper? <laughs> So he looks really cool with that helmet on. And then uh, the last one, my favorite, is uh, Keech. Easy one to pronounce here. I just like the look of this guy. I really like the uh, brown on him. Just a nice dark brown. There's a little bit of shading, but not much. Uh, he's got a really nice facial sculpt, too. You can see the white in his teeth. And there's some, you know, his pupils. He's got that same cowl that Kiel Keech has, except... It's an orange. He's got the Stormtrooper uh, chest armor, which is a soft plastic, and you can remove this if you'd like. He has a belt that goes around his waist, and that's just part of the mold. But you do get a uh, knife. And then you got the uh, holster or sheath, whatever you want to call it. Now this pegs onto the belt, and the knife can be removed and place in his hand. It's one solid color there. And then he comes with this axe here. Well, I really like the axe. It's got the gray there for the uh, gray paint tabs for the uh, stone blade and then you can see the string which is a di uh, lighter brown which is really nice. They could have gone with a solid color but they did not. So this guy's really cool. So I could be mistaken one of these might be females but I didn't read the comic yet. So if I am correct me in the comments below course articulation is the same so all in all this is a great little Ewok pack you know like I said it can be pricey so you definitely want to shop around and get these three guys but no Ewok army is complete without them in my opinion so great great Ewok comic pack so there you guys go hope you've enjoyed this review please uh, comment like favorite and until next time may the force be with you